Gotta carefully get in here and pull these stickers out of the way so that we can access the screws to take the system apart. Fortunately, there's only 10 of them. gonna have to have a little extender to get to the remaining two. There we go. There is a cable connecting these, so we'll lift up carefully, grab just the white top part of this, wiggle it back and forth to pull it out. There's a missing screw right here. And I probably could have taken the stylus out first. Gonna push in right here and just kind of release a couple little plastic locking tabs in order to pull this up out. Get our cable through there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this foam out of the way. I'm just slightly pushing in on these little plastic tabs. I don't wanna break them but I do want to move them out of the way enough to pull these nuts out of the way. This sticker is going to come off. I'll just go ahead and reapply it after I'm done, but I'm going to carefully push on it from behind here. And there we go. It kept intact pretty well. These just lift out of here, lift and slide. I'm gonna be careful not to tear them and I wanna be especially careful not to tear the ribbon cable below them. Just a little foam thing in there keeping it from escaping. I think there's a little push down tab here I'm hitting with my thumb to release that. It is very common for joysticks to collect hair, especially if you have pets. That's pretty gross, but normal. We'll get the buttons out here. A button was a little stuck. Okay, one more of these joysticks. We have lots of ribbons and cables and wires to disconnect now. We'll just kind of make our way around the board. Releasing all the little gates. Get our volume slider out of the way here. Just three screws to release the motherboard now. Carefully pulling up on the speaker there. I don't want to pull the wire out of where it goes. These antenna both have a little bit of adhesive on them, but this one in particular was really stuck. There we go.
we should just be able to push up now and remove the screen. There we go. Let's go ahead and get it washed. This motherboard looks good. I don't even think I need to clean it. You can't fix what's broken by cleaning and you can't clean what's already clean. Mostly just some hair that kind of got stuck down inside of here on both of these. I cleaned one of these a few months ago that had soda pop stuck all over this blue ribbon cable here and it was very difficult to clean. But unfortunately, it was before I started making videos for this channel, and I wasted it. Still, I'm happy to take this one apart, show you basically how it gets cleaned. It was pretty dirty on the outside, and I'm glad I got in here for the pet hair and for some of the grossness underneath the buttons that were starting to stick. Just a little bit of flux here that I'm cleaning up. Get these speakers nice and clean. A little bit more flux on this board. Mostly just some dirt and grime that was stuck around this. And here we have the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside and hit it with some air because I don't wanna get that all over my workstation. And here we go, this is what it looks like after a little bit of air. Just going to get as much of that hair visibly as we can. Now we're going to take our BW100 contact cleaner, squirt that down in there, work it around, move it around. I don't think this system was having drift issues, at least it didn't have any issues really when I tested it out. But I do want to go ahead and clean these good while I have them taken apart, especially knowing that it was collecting hair in there. And I think we're going to be good to go. I'm going to be very careful on this screen. I'm using a Q-tip, but I'm only using very light pressure and just trying to work and loosen up some of the gunk that's stuck on here. It's kind of hard to tell what's scratch and what's dirt and grime. So we're just kind of slowly going, getting it worked up. I'm going to put a little bit of glass cleaner on my microfiber cloth here and then carefully and gently work this around the screen a bunch. Just trying to clean it up and we're getting to the point now where we can tell the difference between the scratch and the grime and we do have a few scratches on this screen which is okay it's still very usable i think it looks good It actually took me a little bit longer than normal to do the rest of the cleaning on this and I had something come up that needed my attention. So these parts have been soaking in here for probably about two and a half hours. Nothing harmed. And actually it's making this tape or sticker residue that was on here come off really nice and easy.
All right. I think we got most all of it. We'll just check our water here and we have no more pieces floating around. Let's get it dried up, put back together. I want to make sure to get the volume slider lined up on the volume knob. I'm going to have to pull up this edge of the board to tuck these wires under here where they go. Still have our missing screw. Something is causing this knot to set together, right? I think I see it. There's a wire that needs to be tucked under here. Now it's not in the way and just like that, it should go together pretty easy. All right, we don't have the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD edition, even though we have this nice gamepad now with the designs on it. 
but it would feel wrong to test this out with something besides a Zelda game. So even though this is a virtual console edition of Link to the Past, that's what we're trying it out on. Besides, Wind Waker and Link to the Past are my two favorite Zelda games. Thanks for watching.